Okay, in this video uh, today we're going to go over some trigonometry. This is a paper two problem uh, involving trig. Uh, this is one of the topics that I think my students have the most trouble with. Um, so let's go through it. It says in the diagram ABC, in the diagram below AB and C represent three villages and the line segments AB, BC, and CA represent roads joining them. The lengths of AC and CB are 10 kilometers and 8 kilometers respectively and the size of the angle between them is 150 degrees. Okay, so they give us that diagram there. Now, the important thing to notice here is that the diagram is not uh, not to scale. So you can't just measure it and try and guess what it is. Um, now, it says find the length of AB. Okay, so we want to find uh, this right here. Okay, so we want to know what this side is. Now, if we look at the triangle, the first thing you need to ask yourself in trigonometry, is it a right triangle? Um, and this obviously with 150 degrees, it's not a right triangle. So we have two options here. We've got the cosine law and the sine law. Um, and we don't have two angles for the side. So we're going to have to use the cosine law. Now I took the cosine law straight out of the formula book right here. Um, now it's, you know, this is side C, but it doesn't really matter. This, what we're solving for right here, A squared, is, you know, the unknown side. So we can just do, you know, a squared, well you could also do C squared, it doesn't matter, equals um, B squared, which it doesn't, you can choose either of these sides, it, it makes no difference. So I'll just do 8 squared plus 10 squared um, minus 2 times 8 uh, times 10, and then you take the cosine of 150 degrees. Okay, so, you know, the, the trick here is just, you know, um, basically use two sides in the included angle. That's when you use the cosine law. Okay, so you break out your calculator here. Um, now the first thing you got to be careful with, um, and you should always check, is um, on the mode, you want to make sure you're in degrees. You don't want to be in radians because uh, we're doing everything in degrees. So I'm going to switch this to degrees. And that's a big deal because if you do it in radians, uh, your, your numbers are going to be off. Okay, so um, I'm just going to do uh, 8 squared. Uh, let's see, 8 squared plus 10 squared, and you can just type this whole thing in, minus 2 times 8 times times 10, um, and then it's cosine 150 degrees. And you don't have to close the bracket, but I always do anyway. Okay, so we get, you know, 302.56. Now that's what a squared is right there. Um, okay, so what we need to do here is we need, you know, a squared is, you know, uh, whoops, a squared is 302.56. Well, what we're going to need to do here is just take the square root of this, and that will give us a. Okay, so if we bring the calculator back up. Now, what I would do just to get the most accurate answer is do second square root and then just don't even type that whole thing in. Just the answer, see this little right here, it says ANS. So just do second and answer right here and press boom and you're good to go. Now make sure you go to set um, three significant figures. So that's 17.4. Uh, so, so we'll do 17.4 and then you gotta, you got to put the units too. So that's kilometers. Now you get a unit penalty if you didn't put the kilometers there. So we now know that this side is 17.4 kilometers. Okay, well, and the question mark goes bye-bye, haha, -bye. <laughs> we know. Okay, now find the angle of CAB. Well, CAB is right here. Now, anytime you have, you know, all three sides in, in one angle, um, you know, we can use the cosine law, or excuse me, the sine law now. And let's see, I'll put it up here in just a second. Okay, so here's here's the, the sine law. So we just have to do, you know, the side, which is A, and, well, this is really C. It doesn't make any difference. You just make um, ratios here or um, proportions. So over the sine of 150 equals, well, what's opposite this? 8 um, over X, okay? So... You know, if we were to we were to um, solve this, you just cross multiply. So you're going to get, you know, 17.4x equals um, eight times the sine of one. Oops, that's not right. Eight times the sine of 150. Okay. <clears throat>
And then, you know, to, to solve for x, we're just going to divide by 17.4. I like to do this all at once. Okay. And so, uh, let's see here. Bring out the calculator. So we'll get, um, let's see, I'll clear this out. We'll get 8 times the sine of 150. And then we just have to divide that by, what was it, 17.4. And we're good to go. Boom. Now, that's not your angle, okay? That's, that's the sine of your angle. So in order to, you know, um, find the answer, what the, it is in degrees, you just do, um, you just take the inverse signs, inverse sign, and then put that answer in. So just go second answer and close it, and you get, boom. So that's 13.3. Okay, so to three significant figures. So, you know, our answer here is 13.3 uh, degrees. All right, let's move on to the next part. All right, so in the second part here, it says village D is located halfway between A and B. Uh, a new road perpendicular to AB and passing through D is built. Let T be the point where the road cuts AC. Okay, no problem. This information is shown in the diagram below. Once again, it's not drawn to scale, so you can't measure it. But we did figure out two things here, and you would get follow through even if you missed the first two problems. So keep going on these. Um, write down the distance from A to D. Well, um, we found that this was 17.4, um, so you know we just need to cut it in half because they said D is in the middle. So you know 17.4 divided by two um, would be what 8.7. And then we will put uh, kilometers, you know, anytime it's distance, you got to put your units. So we now know uh, that this is, you know, right here, this area or this distance is 8.7. That's important. Okay. Show that the distance from D to T is 2.6. So they want us to find this to show that it's 2.6. Okay, so this is where you got to, to three significant figures, this is where you have to show your work. Well, if we have this, we have, um, this is a right triangle. So with a right triangle, if you look at this triangle right here, um, we can use Sokotoa. Um, so this is, let's see, opposite over uh, adjacent, so that's tangent. So we can say the tangent of 13.3 degrees equals x over 8.7. So to solve that, you just have to multiply 8.7 uh, times tangent 13.3 equals x. Now, hopefully, if we do that, it's going to be 2.06. So we'll turn it on again, uh, clear, and we'll just do 8.7 times uh, tangent 13.3. Boom. All right, what do we got? 2.05 and round it up, it's 2.06. So x equals, uh, you know, 2.06 kilometers. Ooh, kilometers. Okay, and we're good to go. Okay, so that's that part. Now they're going to take us on another adventure here. Okay, so it says a bus starts and ends its journey at A. Starts and ends at A. Okay, taking the route AD to DT to TA. Okay, so it goes around the triangle, the right triangle there. Um, find the total distance. Okay, well, we're missing one side here. Um, I would just use Pythagoras, quite frankly, to solve this. I'm going to do it over here. I have a little more room. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So I would do, um, you know, 2.06 squared plus 8.7 squared equals C squared. And then, you know, just take the square root of this. Um, and you'll get C. So C is going to equal that. So, you know, let's break out the calculator here. It's going to cover this up a little bit, but that's all right. Um, so 2.06 squared plus 8.7 squared. Okay, and then we're going to have to take the square root of that. So second square root, second answer. And it's the hypotenuse, so it should be longer, 8.94. So let's see. So it's going to be 8.94 kilometers. Okay, so this is 8.94. Okay, so then we just have to add them all up. So 2.06 plus 8.7 plus 8.94. 
Okay, so let's see what we get here. Um, clear this out, and we get uh, 2.06 plus 8.7. You see this problem? This is a good problem. It's got a lot of different stuff in it. This is a typical paper two problem. Uh, so we got 19.7 kilometers. So you remember, put your you know your units. A lot of kids don't forget about that, and they get dinged, and it's such a shame. Um, you know, one point really could make a difference. Believe it or not. Okay, so 19.7 kilometers. Okay, so we're good to go on that. Now, the average speed of the bus while moving, it is moving on the road is 70 kilometers per hour. Okay. Um, 70 kilometers per hour. And the bus stops for five minutes each of D and T. Okay, so it says estimate the time taken by the bus to complete its journey. Give your answer to the correct minute. Okay, well, first of all, we need to find out what fraction of an hour this took. I mean, we only went 19.7 kilometers here, okay? So, you know, 19.7, we're doing 70 kilometers an hour, so we can just divide that. And we are going to get, let's, let's do that real quick, 19.7 divided by 70. Okay, so it's point uh, two eight uh, hours. Okay, so we'll just multiply that by sixty because there's sixty minutes in an hour, and we get. I totally screwed this up. All right, wait. I panicked there for a second, but I'm doing all right. Um, okay, this happens, man. You do these problems. I didn't even look at the answers when I before I did this, so. Um, you know, <laughs> whatever, I'm doing it right, 16.9 uh, minutes, okay, now, what what I was freaking out about is, I'm like, my answer's too low, I looked at the answer key, and, uh, but what I forgot was the five minutes that it stops, okay, so it stops for five minutes right here, and it stops for five minutes right here, so we'll just put plus 10 minutes, so, you know, this is going to be 26.9 minutes, and be very careful here, because they say, give your answer the nearest minute, so, you know, it's 27 minutes. Woo! I was starting to sweat there. I've been working on this thing, and and if I had gotten that wrong, I would have been a little upset. Okay, anyway, uh, this is a really, really good trig problem. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff going for it. It's got right angle trig. It's got um, not right angle trig. Very, pretty typical IV problem. Um, you know, I'll do one with 3D trig later, um, with like a pyramid or something like that. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope this helped out. Sorry about that last part. You know, mistakes happen, but watch out for it. Or you think you're about to make a mistake when you actually don't. Whatever. That's life, huh? All right, go Giants. They won the World Series. I'm still happy about that. I made a kid in my class who likes the Tigers watch a video um, proclaiming how great the Giants were. It's amazing. Okay, talk to you later. Late!